Today, we're going to talk about getting to why for your product or service. So when I co-founded WP Curve in 2013, my why was very short-sighted. I wanted to prove that I could do a startup. That was it. I wasn't planning for an exit. I wasn't hoping to have time freedom. I didn't even know how big I wanted the business to be. And I definitely wasn't trying to build a legacy. I had a chip on my shoulder. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's the state of mind that I was in at the time. My why was weak and it ended up showing up in my business. As soon as I felt like I'd proven I could do it, I jumped into other opportunities and got super distracted. You might have a better time by getting clear on a meaningful why before you start doing the hard yards. So when I start with people who want to step into a productized service business or be a CEO, I ask them this. Let's assume you're successful. Why build this business? Why choose this business? Why do you want this? And you can back into the answer to that question by looking at your existing business and what frustrates you about it. Take some time to write it down. You can look at where you spend your time. You can look at the headaches that you have because of your team or your clients or the market that you're in. Write down what you'd like to change those things into. It might be the opposite. It might be that you wanna make that part of your business di disappear altogether. So let's get specific. We won't stop there. Why are you here? Why are you in this program? What are you trying to change? What are you trying to improve? By the way, the answers to these questions will change over time. That's okay, let's write them down anyway. Be honest with yourself and see what pops up.